am in no way, shape, or form a makeup guru or beauty guru of any type for YouTube, but here are my tips and tricks for trying to get the cr nice Christmas look that you deserve. I think that this year we should all go around with maybe a small selection, like a small box of makeup, and try out just some small things that we like. And today I'm going to attempt to be a beauty guru for the day for the 1st of December. Now, I must say that I am in no way uh, a pro at doing makeup, but I must warn you that you should have a clean face before applying any kind of substance or makeup to your face so that it just helps with cleaning out your pores and that you don't actually get anything gross in between your makeup and you just want to have a nice clean palette to start with. So today's first item is this Avon concealer. I would recommend always putting on concealer first before putting on layers of makeup and foundation because it really hides the redness that's in your face and I kind of find that a favorite thing to put on for everyday makeup. I probably look like such an idiot doing this right now. Now that I've hidden those initial blemishes and redness in my face, uh, I'll go on to my next product that I really do enjoy using. Uh, it's quite a good product. Um, it's Thin Lizzy. Uh, you can use it for your face, you can use it as contouring, as your eyeshadow, even for your lips, and it comes in a great package. And I really enjoy it. Now the way I start off using this product, um, I use it as an all-round kind of basis. And starting, I make sure that I round my face with it. So I darken the corners and edges of my face, just to border it off. One thing that I almost forgot to mention is I find it absolutely fine to go over your lip area here um, with the foundation or Thin Lizzy if you use that product because it, um, it acts as a great starter for when you're building up your lipstick afterwards so don't be afraid to just fluff over that area. Now one thing I see is kind of a hack for me is um, when it comes to my eyebrows, my eyebrows are quite bushy and I do have to take a lot of care in them quite often actually. And I find that um, filling them in with an eyebrow pencil doesn't quite work for me. Sometimes the density is just too thick and I don't like it. So what I have here is a simple palette of eyeshadow. And I use these three here just to kind of thin out and tone and fill in my eyebrows. And in addition to my eyebrows, I will go over my eyelids with the same eyeshadow palette that I was using, so just once again these three colors. And this great colored lip pencil, and I think grape actually goes good with dark reds and brown colors, so for the festive season I really like the darker colors, um, but something that stands out still with the undercoat of red. So the next item of today is just a simple cheap a BYS red lipstick. I like using a really bright red lipstick to go under before I put on some extra coats of lipstick as well. And it's just a cheap colour because it doesn't need to be that prominent and doesn't need to last that long as the other coats of lipstick I'm going to use will last longer. So once I have this first layer, I actually really do like this red colour together with the grape as well. It goes good and just keep in mind this is not finished yet, but when you get used to actually layering different layers, I think just experimenting is probably the key to actually getting a nice look and it's only through you that you're going to know what you like and what you like to use and what products. That's all the advice I can probably give you the best to my ability of not actually being a makeup guru. So for my final layer of lipstick, I have this Chanel lipstick. Um, it's part of the Vogue Allure collection and it's a quite a nice dark reddish brown and it goes well just as an overcoat. I will add a lip gloss over the top, just a clear gloss and it's another Thin Lizzy product as well. It's quite good but it is quite thick as well so don't apply too much gloss over the top of your lipstick in case it just gets a bit too sticky and ooey and especially when it comes to going out and eating food that may become a problem. Now just for some finishing touches I added a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. I'm not big on the eye makeup but I do think it is the lips that tell you who you are and more about you than what your eyes do say because it is for your lips that make you passionate, sexy, fun and flirty and it's absolutely brilliant for the whole face. Now, as I said before, I am in no way, shape, or form a makeup guru or beauty guru of any type for YouTube, but here are my tips and tricks for trying to get the nice Christmas look that you deserve this season. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. I hope to make videos every week. 
including my 10 second Tuesday seg segment, which is a 10 second long video every Tuesday, and hopefully another video every week for you to enjoy. Enjoy the season, it's Christmas. Get used to your family because you're probably going to be seeing them a lot this time around, and yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.